On Friday, April 5th, 2019, a gathering of our fellow Kuan Yin practitioners at the New Land in Taiwan, also known as Formosa, was blessed to listen to our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai continue reading and explaining Chapter 2 of the Shurangama Sutra. Before doing so, Master reminded us of why we should adhere to the five precepts. The past karma, the master power, delete. But the present karma, you must carry on, otherwise you cannot live, you must die immediately if you have no connection with the world at all. And because you're still connected with families, you know, friends and all kinds of things, give and take to, in this world. So we have to carry on this short life for a while. Yeah, whatever we have to do, we have to do. But that's why we need the five precepts. That's why the precepts come in. Otherwise, maybe your karma in this life is already destined to be bad. Yeah, Then you have to rely on the master power also, but your own willpower, the precepts to know what to do, uh, what's right, what's wrong, so that you control yourself. Yeah, Then you take the destiny also in your hands to guide it with the master help into the right direction. So, our life is better, mm? even though we cannot help the whole thing, but at least actions don't do any harm, at least. While reading the Arhat Kavampati's recounting of his enlightenment, Master elaborated on the fine line between self-confidence and arrogance. Being stupid is not a sin. Being stubborn, being big head, big ego is a problem that separate you from Buddha nature hmm? and stop yourself from understanding the real teaching of the Buddha inside, not the talking outside. That's why this monk before, he cannot even remember one sentence. <laughs> yeah, He forget the front of, or forget the back. He still can attain a hardship because he's not arrogant. That is the point, you see? He has no ego to uh, obstruct him. Ego is the worst enemy that we could have as a practitioner. Hmm. Just uh, too much uh, fixation on the outer, you know, phenomena and allurement, and then forgot to go inside, you know? It's the ego, make it like that. Make you attached to this and that, make you feel proud of this and that, which is absolutely nothing, it's dust compared to the real thing, compared to your real purpose in life, to meditate, okay? This is okay for self-confidence, but not overstep the boundary between self-confidence and arrogance. Then you'll be fine. You have to know, check yourself, whether or not you are obstructing yourself, hmm? okay? This is really, really, really detrimental for your spiritual progress. You go nowhere, carrying around the ego like a baby, like precious thing. Just let it go, okay? We are nobody, we are nothing, really. We humbly thank Supreme Master Ching Hai for her loving kindness and patience in teaching us the way of the saints. May we continue to practice diligently with the intent of full liberation and in honor of our beloved Master. In heaven's glory, may Master always be safe and be blessed with excellent health and peace. For the full broadcast of this lecture by Supreme Master Ching Hai, please tune in to Between Master and Disciples at a later date.